Picasso. Anne Brack, two friends, amazing, more than 100 years ago, and they decide to change art, the vision of art. They, they used to paint anything, very incredible, beautiful. Like, a, take a look of this, Still Life by Picasso, 1919, and incredible figures, shades, but the same year he decided to do this cubism piece and his name analytic. We will be later doing more about that. But the thing is, in the regular still life, you learn about observation, about how is the shape of every piece. In the cubism, you learn about your own vision. You create your own objects based in real objects. That's revolutionary for that time. And they need time to be accepted. That is something. Uh, here is a portrait. This beautiful portrait of Dora Mar, that is also an artist at that time, is showing the face profile and front at the same time. That's the amazing thing of cubism. Mm -hmm. And all around is more, more than the body, is a feeling. Mm -hmm. And we will be learning about that today, how feelings are important. This is synthetic cubism. What is the difference between analytic and synthetic? Synthetic is putting together things that you finish when you are watching the piece. It's like a Picasso and Braque decide to create something just basic, the basic lines of the table, of the guitar, and some collage that make a reference of what is happening here. But definitely you finish the piece in your brain.